welcome to today's video. My name is Trisha and I am finally upgrading my very last animal into a Zen Habitats enclosure. So if you have been following me on my journey of upgrading all of these enclosures, this is my last one. I don't have space for any more and Mango has been in this little exoterra. I'm not quite sure what the dimensions of it are. Um, but it's been adequate for her. She's not the most active gecko. African fat tails kind of just don't do much. However, I upgraded her and she seems to be utilizing all of the space, so I stand corrected. And this is why we should just upgrade all of our animals, even if we don't think that they'll utilize the space, because even if they don't, it's nice that they have the option. So yeah, if you've been following me on my journey of watching all of these enclosures, I'm sure you're very familiar with Zen Habitats. They make such amazing enclosures. They have a lot of different options. They have wood, they have PVC. The PVC is good for high humidity and it also allows the use of heat pads. They have the original line, they have the Meridian. Original's a little bit cheaper, a little bit more work to assemble. Meridian is mostly pre-assembled and easier to put together and a little bit more expensive. They have the bamboo print. They're now offering black enclosures, which are, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be selling out very soon. So if you want one, head to Zen Habitats. If you're interested in any of their products, please use my affiliate link for them. It is in my description. I do make a small commission every time you shop using that link, so I really do appreciate it. And I work for Zen Habitats too, so if you guys have any questions about Zen Habitats, just go ahead and leave it in the comments and I am more than happy to help you guys out. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get to it and show you guys how I set up Mango in her 4x2x16 PVC Meridian enclosure. Um, it was a very simple build, but very worth it and it looks amazing and she seems to be very happy with it. So I hope that you guys enjoy today's video and have a wonderful day. <music> the other parts I have the substrate shield the screen and the doors and the side panels everything is laid out and then as you can see the enclosure um, I get this complaint all the time when I'm working because I do customer service for Zen Habitats and sometimes the frames get pushed a little bit out of place during shipping but it's super easy to fix and the next shipment isn't even gonna have this issue because they already resolved it it's just because it's like a new product it's just something that they noticed was happening so you basically just have to push the frame back in. People think that the back panel is short and it's not fitting, but it does fit. It's just that the frames got pushed out. You should be able to push it with your hands, which I'm trying to do, but it's kind of hard to do on camera. But I was able to figure it out and do it. I just needed two hands or you can use a rubber mallet, but it's a super easy fix. So if you see that, don't ever freak out. have to let all of that spray foam dry for 24 hours so I'm just gonna leave that alone for the day and then come back and start carving it down tomorrow and painting um, these are the doors another thing people freak out about they think that this is just cardboard and it's not <laughs> like you just have to peel this paper off it protects the doors during shipping so this can be tedious. They have another version, which it just comes with like a plastic that comes off in one piece, but this kind is the paper. So it's gonna be a little bit more work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for the day. And then once I finish the background and everything, it'll all just fold into place. And then I can just put some screws in and it's super easy. No rubber mallet or banging, which Chacho really appreciates because I used to traumatize him whenever I would build enclosures because of all the banging and now the meridian just makes it so quiet and easy.
this is Mango's current enclosure and I wanted to upgrade it because I got rid of Ponyo's enclosure and that looks awful and there's just like dust everywhere and I don't really need this section. And then I have my Zen Habitat so I just wanted to get a Zen Habitat for under here and double Mango space. Um, she typically does not touch this just licking his plate. <laughs> She typically doesn't do much in her setup and I feel like she's probably not going to utilize... Oh, is that her sleeping right there? She's so cute. Yeah. So she's probably not going to utilize all of this space too much, but we're going to give it to her anyway because this enclosure, it's definitely suitable. I'm not sure what the dimensions are of this. It goes back really far, so it's pretty deep. Um, but then I think it's only like 24 inches um, lengthwise. So yeah, she's gonna get a little mansion. Right, chat? Did you enjoy your breakfast? All right, so we have mango. I did not film putting all of this stuff in the enclosure because it was just really stressful with thermostats and restacking everything, but it looks way better than it did before. It all stacks up perfectly now. Metamore's on top, and then there's Kiwi, and then Mango's on the bottom with Chach. So we're gonna go ahead and put her in for the very first time. Chachi, no. <laughs> Okay, so she has a couple of her old stuff, like her old hide chateau that she's going into immediately. And I'm sure that that's where she's going to spend a majority of her time in this enclosure. Um, but that's her safe place and she knows it, she recognizes it. So when looking at this enclosure, this is the warm side where I put her um, hide that she's comfortable with. The thermostat is hiding over here. We just set it up. So yeah, that should be warming up soon. Um, we have her water bowl. I got her this new giant cave for the center. And I like it because it's not too tall and she can climb on it too. I didn't do too many climbing opportunities on the sides of the wall because she is not a climber. So it's mainly just for decoration. Whereas like Kiwi's, I put a ton of climbing opportunity because he utilizes all of that. But African fat tails don't really care for that stuff. She's like totally gone now. Um, I put my cute sticker. This is from V Steiner. She actually created this after Mango. She used a picture of Mango to create this. So I've like switched it and put it on every single one of her enclosures because it's adorable. And then there's one for Kiwi too. And then we'll go on to the cool side. If Chacho moves his tush. Um, we have the sticker label. It's not a sticker, it's just a label. Um, from Cloud Forest Design. That's where I get all of mine. Love getting those. It's like the perfect finishing touch. So on the cool side, we have her old moist hide that I'm leaving on the left side. Um, and then we have some branches and different things for her to climb on. She has way more climbing opportunity than she's ever had before and just so much space. So there's a really good chance this gecko is just going to always stay in that warm hide and not really do much, but that's okay because she has a big mansion that she can utilize now. The substrate that I used is Repti Soil and Josh's Frog's Bio Bedding. Um, and then I put some moss throughout the enclosure as well. And then that's pretty much it. I feel like this is one of the most basic setups, but this was very easy to make, especially because it was Meridian. So it was extremely easy to assemble and put together. And um, yeah, this was very swift. I feel like the most challenging part was just taking all of these enclosures off in order to put this underneath and then deal with the lighting situations and the thermostats because that was a little bit of a stressful disaster, but we figured it out. Chacho, you can't go in there. Chacho, hey you, mister, yes, this is not your enclosure. We're gonna close this. So yeah, um, that's it. For anyone who's curious, these are the door wraps. Um, mainly it's helpful if you have snakes because snakes can kind of like squeeze through the doors um, and that prevents it. These geckos can't do that, but 
just a safety precaution. It also prevents the doors from getting scratched. So hopefully we'll get some updates. Mango's just gonna chill in her hide, but I think that this turned out really beautiful. So I'm pretty, oh, she's out. Are you kidding me? She's out right now. She's snuck out of a back hole in her cave. Well, that is exciting. So she's already checking things out, which is awesome because I never see her do this. She normally doesn't do anything ever. <coughs> Chacho. Oh, she's going into her new hide. She appreciates the new hide. That is adorable. Well, honestly, that was like the smallest thing but that was actually huge, that was monumental. We saw her check out her new hide. I'm shocked right now. That's amazing. And this whole time we just see Chacho's nose here in the corner. <laughs> You're so weird. Well, I guess I'm gonna keep an eye on her, see if she does any other exciting things, but this is her enclosure. If you guys are interested in getting your own Zen Habitats enclosure, please check out Zen Habitats using my affiliate link. I do make a small commission every time you shop using my link, so I do appreciate that. Chacho, get out of there. What are you doing? Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions that are like Zen related or whatever, or about the enclosure, let me know. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. It was pretty easy and simple, but all of my... She's going all over. No way. So fun fact, that little piece of cork bark, that's like her bathroom. <laughs> I put it in the same corner because her other enclosure, she had a corner over there and that's where she's, that she always poops. That is her bathroom. So she has her little privacy bathroom door. Maybe she's gonna go poop over there right now. I see her little head stripe. She is taking full advantage of this entire enclosure already. It could just be because it's new and she's checking it out, which is understandable, but that's awesome. She's getting so much enrichment just from a new enclosure. And she is seeming to be really interested in it, not stressed, just interested, which is really great. And she's still wandering around. I wonder if we'll see her come this way and stick her head out. <laughs>